So there we are. I uh, looked into things a bit, and there's not much else we can do in this chapter. Except maybe talk to yes. Dora one more time. What do you need? Uh, let's stop and talk for a moment. Oh, I can't even talk about that. Well, alright. I guess that's it then. I trust you're ready to leave for the desert then, yes? Yes, I am ready to go. Good. If the gods smile on us, then the situation is not as dire as I fear. Look at my it's awesome not. stuff. Well then, I wish you the best No, da, da, I don't want to look at that. Oh, sorry, Master, I interrupted you. So, there we go. The caravan makes slow progress as it leaves Hilltop, trudging through snowy hills for several weeks before finally the vast wasteland of the Anorak Desert opens up before you. This is a parched land, said to be the bones of the once great Netheral Empire, its complete destruction a mystery, lost to the passing of ages. spot's gonna have to do for the night. Let's set up camp, and make sure it's secure this time, Torius. What? What did I... What? Sorry. I need to find this character's voice again. It's been a long time since we talked to him. What? Why are they uh, that would be so worthy of such a suspicious town? I wonder. I have two words for you, dear cousin. Bandits and asleep while on watch. Well, uh, that's more like far for it. And besides, I had a full stomach that night. You can't expect a man to stay awake all night after eating a, eating a full pot roast, can you? Uh, just be careful, will you? Dashia. Dashia. Brava! Dashaya. Dashnyaya? Dasha, whatever. Predicted some trouble, and I don't uh, wish to take any chances. <laughs> this guy is just always uh, predicting trouble. Her uh, name is Trouble, I tell ya. You can barely pronounce it. Between you and your companions and the odd little kobold we hired on outside of Hilltop, our group is much larger than it normally is. I'm surprised we haven't drawn more attention by now. I trust the crossing of the desert isn't completely unbearable. You'll be alright for the night. God, this is land is awful. It is hot and I'm terribly sweating in my armor. Maybe I should take it off and do naked magic then. Maybe you should not. Yes, maybe you should not. Mm hmm. Let's see. Did you say you hired a kobold? I did. Haven't seen ha haven't seen him. My first impulse was that it wouldn't be a good idea considering the trouble we had earlier. But this fellow seemed pretty earnest. Sorry, I'm kind of doing the Dorna voice now. Not only that, he seems to be pretty desperate to hire on. I'm paying him almost nothing, although his cooking skills have been pretty questionable. I suppose you get what you pay for. Mm. Bah, I hate this desert. I must admit, it took a while before I got accustomed to it. You've got more on, the, on your mind than just traveling, however, I suppose. I'll leave you alone then. You can handle yourself, I'm sure. Just be careful. The desert gets colder than you think during the night, and you don't so, don't wander too far off from the fire. If you need any assistance or have questions, Zidane here can help you uh, out. He's the he's the guide I hired back in Black Sands. 
I would be most pleased, however. However, I would be most pleased to help, however I am needed. Yes, well, that's good. As for me, the desert makes me tired and cranky. I'm going to bed. Good night to the both of you. Hiss, hiss, hiss. We're under attack! An ambush! Everyone arm yourselves! Uh, let's, let's get the uh, axe and plats instead of the staff. Scorpion, man! You and me. You and that me. is no! You and me. Let's take oh. That, fools. oh, it's lots of them! The officer's head is mine! I wonder if they'd be good eating. Hit him! They are green, though. Aha! I will get this officer and get glory! Oh, Samus is doing pretty good, I'm surprised. Donna! Not so much. This is good combat music. Ah! Ah! Hit him from behind! Boom! Damn! 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 Where is Zidane? Have you seen him? It's pronounced Zidane, not just Zidane. Well, I suppose he uh, wasn't the headbutting type. Ha ha! Soccer joke. Uh, let's see. Wait a second, what were those creatures? Those? Stingers, they're called. Half man, half scorpion. Yes, I could see that! I haven't seen them uh, one uh, of the last two trips though. It was too much to hope that we'd, I'd never see them again, I see. But that's not important right now. Have you seen the Zidane of Zidane or not? Who cares? He probably fell in battle. He was not as great a warrior as me. You might not care either way, but that doesn't change the fact that we need him. How else are we supposed to cross this desert? Tarius, any sign of him? Nope, nothing. He just up and vanished. As near as I can tell. Damn it. I knew it just was too way too good to be true. We can't go anywhere without our guide. We'll to be lost for sure. Wait a second, I thought you'd been across this desert before. Yes, of course, but none of us are natives. The Anorak Desert is huge. Unless you want to, to risk wandering off to your death, you'll have to have a guide with you. Let me put it this way. We can head back to Black Sands and hope we don't get lost en route and delay our trip by about a week hiring a new guide. Or you can volunteer yourself and go look for Zidane and pray that those pray to the gods that those stingers haven't torn him apart for a late night snack. Your choice. I don't appreciate being blackmailed into helping. Ah, I see. You're one who needs to find find that fellow who dropped off. Uh... Wait, wait a second. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Uh, as I see it, you're the one who needs to find the fellow who dropped off the who we dropped off so badly. We're not the ones in a rush to get across the desert. So you can either get off your backside and earn your keep, or you can sit to sit tight and accept the delay. That's not blackmail, that's just the way it is. I could use a little incentive. Yes. I suppose I really don't like the possibility of the delay any more than you do. 
I'm hardly in a position to be throwing about gold, however. How about this? I'll give you 500 gold if you fi bring back, back the guide back. And then I'll talk to him about uh, how much uh, of that is coming out of his own pay. So I trust that's settled then. Should you need any supplies, by the way, I have plenty in store to sell you. Ah, that is good. Um, I should be going now. Oh, wait, Donna said something. Even though her face is uh, flat down in in the in the ground, in the sand. Though I suppose that is uh, a natural position position for a dwarf. Ha 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 ha! Red awful war. I know. You mean like chasing after poisonous creatures into their own lair in the middle of an unfamiliar desert? Correct. I'm glad we understand each other. Oh, and don't expect to be sneaking uh, sneaking up on the stingers. From what I've been told, they have, special, have a special ability to detect vibration, so they will know you're coming. I do not care that they know that. It's good that they know that I'm coming. With thunderous footsteps. Maybe then they run. Let's get Dorna up on her feet. And loot, of course. Stinger poisons gland. Interesting. Maybe you can make poisons or something like that from it. Do you have stuff I need to... Stuff the map was one. Yeah, I need to collect a bit from this. That was one. Wow, that sounds almost like an alien invasion. And X plus one. Well, let's give her the hand X plus one. Oceans. Arrows you won't need. And this you all can keep. Good. Yes? What do you need? Now I hear a lot of people are happy with Deacon, so let's start oh. with Deacon. The great hero has found little Deacon out. Um, maybe the great hero is happy to see Deacon, yes? Uh, you do keep calling me great hero, so I'm happy with <laughs> Of course, now I finally get to kill you! Uh, no, let's not do that. Actually, no, let's do do that. I finally get to kill you, ah! Ah! No, please, please don't hurt Deacon, boss! Deacon explain himself, honest! Sure. Deacon follow boss after we meet. Deacon wants to go see world, but... But Deacon not know where to go! World, world is so, so big! So, um... Deacon watch boss because, uh... Deacon was sure boss go on more adventures! And Deacon was right! When Deacon leave on caravan, Deacon follow the... Follow it! Deacon ask Halfling Girl to hire Deacon uh, on as cook! Then... then... Deacon may be adventurer too? Being a cook is not... isn't an adventure. I mean, I don't cook my meat. And your teeth show it. What? Nothing. Deacon know that. Deacon was hoping maybe, maybe he travel as boss's sidekick. Then Deacon write great epic tale about boss's adventure. Oh, I like that idea. You want to write my story, do you? 
it'd be an epic tale of uh, of fighting, fighting big and big nasty villains. Song of bravery, whispers of deeds better left unmentioned. It will be really, really good. Take and promises. All right then, you come with me then. Yay, you not be sorry. Deacon make best, most epic tale of boss ever. So, um, when we begin, we kill something now? So I first need to yes. dismiss Thorna. What do you need? I think we need to part ways for the moment. Hmm, I don't like the sound of this, but if it's what you want, I guess I'll have to go along with it. Just uh, stay right here for the moment. I don't want to be stuck uh, stuck here for too long. Or do, or do what you must and then hurry back. You oh, changed that's your mind, nice. Deacon Hopes. You take Deacon along again, maybe? Epic tale not finished yet. Yes, come with me. Boss and his faithful Kampokobot companion were reunited once again. So now I have uh, get epic story written about me. I like that. Let's see, what is Deacon good at? He's a bot, chaotic good. Kind of different from us. And let's see, what is he good at? Can he pick locks? That's the most important thing. A lot of lore. Form. Spellcraft. Hmm. I don't think he has lock picking, that's annoying. Kinda need someone to lock pick. Maybe I can You want Deacon? I need to talk to you for a moment. I want to this Deacon always happy to talk to boss. What do you bonds want to talk about? I want to discuss your training. Um Try to focus more on stealth and skills. Okay, Deacon will do his best. Deacon always keep working on epic tale for boss though. You not get worry about that. Let's stop and talk a bit. I want to know how you became a bard initially. Old master teaches Deacon to be bard. Deacon already tells you that. Yes, but why did he teach you to be a bard? Oh, you mean why Deacon be bard and not be sorcerer maybe? That's a good question. Old Master not once upon Bart at first. Old Master sees little Deacon and sees that he got lots of talent for magic. Old Master says he going to make Deacon great cobalt saucer. Deacon be next chief. You were supposed to be the next chief? Ha! <laughs> Deacon could be good chief. One day, maybe he goes back to Cobalt Caves and he can be greatest chief ever. Uh huh. Well, you can't be worse than the last chief I killed. You killed old chief too? Yes. Yeah. But um, it not be normal for old master to train Cobalt. When Deacon was a young pup, orcs in Nether Mountain would raid Cobalt Caves lots. Old master likes to be left alone. He not be very happy that the kobolds be slaughtered all the time and the orcs come and disturb him. Old Master thinks orcs taste funny. So Old Master says he trains great kobold sorcerer who keeps orcs away. Always. That be little Deacon. So what happened next? Oh well, Deacon not be very good student. Deacon likes reeds though. He reads lots of old, old, reads all the books Old Master got. Books that got great stories and pictures of many places. So Deacon not worked hard like he's supposed to. When next Ord raid comes, Old Master sends Deacon to go fight orcs with magic. He not got. That couldn't have gone well. 
No, it's not ghost good at all. Deacon hides while the rest of kobolds get killed. Odd master think it's a very hilarious though. The rest of the tribe be angry and says Deacon must die. But old master says no. He says Deacon be smart to hide, but not very brave. Deacon got good. Uh, Deacon not go chief, but Deacon funny. So old master lets Deacon stay so long as Deacon keeps old master amused. That's how Deacon becomes a bard. Didn't you want to be chief? Nah, not so much. Why not? Tribe goes uh, goes through chief every year or two. It got not got lots of long life expectancy. Deacon not stupid, remember? That is true. I am uh, kind of impressed by that insight. Still, you should uh, be great chief, like me. And not long life expectancy, remember that. At least old master keeps Deacon around for a long time. Deacon learns lots of stories and songs, whatever it takes to keep the old master in chuckles. Old master threatens to eat Deacon lots, and he makes a big smelly noises when he sleeps. But it's okay compared to usual cobalt life. And now Deacon is an adventurer. How many kobolds get to do that? Not many, I imagine. You got that right. Quick! Let's go. Deacon got urged to kill something nasty. Yes, that is excellent idea. But first we uh, get uh, equipment. And then next time... Dar the accursed and his kobold companion goes to kill things. My English is getting worse all the time thanks to talking with him. Hopefully that's fixed next episode. Goodbye!